This is a big one, boys. I am going to show you a secret strategy that will get you more views and make more money on your YouTube videos. Now, you know we keep it moving on this channel, so here's how you do it. I'm going to teach you a secret strategy in this video called the Connected Content Strategy. This can easily get you 100,000 views a month on one video. The great thing about the Connected Content Strategy is you only have to do it once and it will keep bringing in views and money over time. Now, let me walk you through this step by step. YouTube is the biggest search engine in the world. It's second only to Google itself, and YouTube gets over 3 billion searches every month. So, most people think that they should target keywords and certain search terms to get more views on their video. Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The best way to get views is not from people searching from your videos, but from suggested videos. Suggested videos are the videos right underneath the video you're watching if you're on a mobile device, or it's the section to the right of the video you're watching if you're on a desktop. So, instead of focusing on traffic from searches and getting a few thousand views, if you focus on getting your video into the suggested feed, your video could get millions of views. So how do you get your videos into the suggested video feed? Well, hey, that is a great question. That is where the connected content strategy comes in. Here is exactly how it works in six easy steps. Step one, target a specific video in your niche that gets a lot of views. Strap on your gear, fellas, we are going hunting. Go to YouTube and search for your niche. Sort it by the highest viewed videos, and then sort it a second time by videos uploaded in the past month. Matt Parr, the czar of Parr himself, taught me this secret tip, and it works like a charm. Check out Matt's Tube Mastery and Monetization course if you have not. There's a link in the description below. Now this will show you videos that are popular right now. Find one of the videos with the most views, click on it, and watch it. Now the higher the views, the better. And if you can find something with millions of views, you've struck a gold mine. But anything over 100,000 views is worth aiming at. Step two, make two new videos that are better than the targeted video. Now the reason we're gonna make two better videos is because when YouTube decides what videos to recommend, one of the main things the algorithm looks at is watch time. What is watch time? I am very glad you asked. Watch time is how long people watch your video on average before clicking off and watching something else. The longer you can make your watch time, the better. That's the reason we're making two videos, because it will give us more watch time. But it can't just be two totally random videos. This is where the secret sauce comes in. Our two new videos have to be closely related to the super popular video that we picked to target in step one. And they have to be longer than the video we're targeting. So again, look for a video that has over 100,000 views and it's best if it's under 10 minutes because our videos have to be longer than the target video. But the shorter, the better. So for example, my niche is make money on YouTube. So let's go search for how to earn money on YouTube from YouTube Shorts. Sort this by videos uploaded in the past month and then sort it again by the most views and see what we get. I think we have our target, boys. Now what I'm gonna do is make two new videos. One video is gonna be about how to earn money online from YouTube Shorts, but it's gonna go more in depth than this target video and it's gonna have cuts every three to seven seconds and cool stuff added in to keep people's attention and it's going to be at least four or five minutes longer than this target video. This should bring in a longer average watch time than the original video. Then the second video I'm gonna make will show the best specific niches to use for making money on YouTube Shorts, more in-depth examples, other ways to make money on YouTube, things like that. We're gonna cram in as much top shelf value as we can into these two videos so that they blow the competition out of the water. On to step three, linking. Now that we've got two awesome videos made, we need to upload them and link both the videos together. Now there's four spots we're going to use to link them together. The first link is going to be using end screens. If you don't know about end screens, YouTube lets you put an end screen on the last 20 second of your videos that lets people click to watch another one of your videos. So at the end of video number one, we're gonna put an end screen that links to video number two. And at the end of video number one, we're gonna say, click here to watch this next video with examples of the best niches that you can use to make money with YouTube Shorts. 
Now, link number two is going to be in the description of the first video, linking to the second video. Link number three will be in the pinned comment. And link number four will be a card that pops up in the corner of the screen while people are watching video number one. All of these links are going to link to video number two. Now, here's the secret sauce that makes this all work. It's called session time. So everybody talks about how important watch time is, but not many people talk about session time. What is session time? Man, that is another excellent question. Session time is how long people stay on YouTube after they watch your video. Now, YouTube likes watch time, but YouTube also really likes it when people stay on their site longer. So, if you can do both, you win. If the first video we upload has a high watch time and keeps people on YouTube, and that video links to a second video that also keeps people on YouTube, that means you are going to have a high session time. Plus, your watch time is going to be through the roof. Now, what's great about all this is that since you link the two videos together, the algorithm will always put your second video near the top of the suggested feed on your first video. So, since we've linked our two videos together so much, once people watch our first video, lots of them will go on to watch our second video too. This connected content strategy really is a game changer if you do it right, and I'm honestly surprised more people don't know about it. Or maybe they do and they just don't talk about it because they don't want people to know. Now, if you do this right, you will find both of your videos in the suggested feeds of other popular videos in your niche because YouTube will see how long your two videos are keeping people on their site. But this does not work unless you include step four, video optimization secrets. And here's the optimization secret. It's similar metadata. Make sure both your videos have metadata that is similar to the popular video that you're targeting. What is metadata? Dang, boy, you are on fire today with these questions. Metadata is what YouTube uses to tell what your video is about. Now, here's a big secret to metadata that everyone misses. Speak your keywords. You want to speak your keywords at the very beginning of your video and also throughout your video as well. The more keywords that you can sprinkle in throughout your video through speech, the better. Just make sure to keep it natural because you don't want to spam speak your keywords through your whole video. How do we know this works? I'm sure you've seen the captions on YouTube videos. Now, most of the time, these captions are just auto-generated by YouTube. YouTube actually knows what words you are speaking in your video. I mean, it's not 100% accurate, but it understands well enough about 90% of whatever you speak in your video. So speaking your keywords in your video helps YouTube know what topic your video is about. Now, how do you know what keywords to say in your video? Hey, who said that? Keep your eyes on this one, folks. He is going somewhere in life. You can use a free Chrome extension called Social Blade that will tell you all the tags that a video uses when you watch it. Tags are the same thing as keywords for our purposes here. You can also use vidIQ if you have that. Check the description for some links. Look at your targeted video that you're trying to beat and write down all the tags that it uses. Then use some of those keywords in your video title and description in your first video, but make sure that you do it in a natural way. Again, we do not want to be spamming keywords. You also want to use some of those same keywords in your own video's tags. But again, and here is what most people miss. You also want to speak those keywords throughout your video. So for example, let's look at the tags they're using in the video that I'm targeting. Now you better believe I'm going to be saying these keywords throughout the video. But none of this matters if we don't take care of step five, getting people to click on your video. Now YouTube calls this a click through rate. It's how many people click to watch your video after they see it recommended to them on YouTube. Think of it like this. Pretend that YouTube puts your video in the suggested feed of another popular video in your niche and 1% of people click on it. Now that's cool and all, but hey, wouldn't it be even better if 9% of people clicked on it? You would increase your views by 900% just by improving this one thing, click-through rate. So here's how we can increase our click-through rate. We're going to open up an incognito browser window to make sure the suggested feed is not influenced by our browsing history because YouTube is watching you. Then we're going to go to the popular video that we're targeting and see what videos show up in the suggested feed. This is where we are competing to be, and these are the videos that we're competing against. So let's look at these thumbnails and think about how we can beat them. Now, none of these thumbnails have actual cash money on the thumbnail. 
a lot of the thumbnails are cluttered and busy with too many words on them. So we're going to make sure to put some cash money on our thumbnail and keep it clean and to the point with giant bold text that clearly explains exactly what my video is about. We want our thumbnail to stand out next to these other thumbnails, which will make it have a really high click-through rate. And the same thing goes for the thumbnail on a second video. So that's how to get more views. Now let's talk about step six, making money from your videos. To learn how to make money from your videos, click here to watch this video that shows you how you can make money without even making your own videos and how to monetize your videos the right way so you can make money every time someone watches your video.